Hi guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought I'd show you what I use to help my skin as I have quite dry and spot prone skin. And I've been in more of a routine with my skin at the moment and with like all my like skincare and stuff like that. I've been more in a routine and I've been doing it day and night and I've constantly been doing it day and night and each day and I've noticed such a difference with my skin like I have such bad skin normally and I've been so impressed with how my skin's been recently and I thought I'd kind of like show you guys what I've been using as it might help some of you guys as well who's watching this as you might have I don't know dry or spot prone skin and yeah it's such a weird combination my skin um i can be dry in some areas and i can be a bit oily in the rest and yeah i think i've got like a com combo skin um and yeah basically i've been trying a few different products and i've kind of found my products that kind of work for me and the routine that works for me as well with it so i thought i'd show you guys as you guys might want to try some of these products I don't know obviously I'm not a professional so it's just kind of like what works for me and kind of what I've been loving recently skin product wise um so yeah it's kind of like a updated skincare routine and also kind of like other products that I've been using and yeah so I've got them all literally right at the side of me here and I'm going to get into it and show you kind of what I use and when I use it and what I do kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and we'll jump straight into it now. So first of all, I'm going to show you kind of what I would use to take makeup off because like I used to take makeup off with like baby wipes and yeah, then really not good for your skin. Um, I might use them every now and again just because like I've got back so late, but in the morning I give myself a good, like, clean of the skin. It's so bad though that I do that. But I'm obviously trying my best to kind of do this skincare routine um, on a daily. So, yeah, obviously if I forget, like, some of the stuff, I'm going to have to use a baby wipe of somebody because everybody has baby wipes. But using baby wipes to take your makeup off is so bad for your skin. Like... I can't even like describe it. It doesn't take it off properly. And then it sits on your skin and it gives, it makes all your pores clogged. And yeah, it's just, it's not a vibe guys. It's not a vibe. So the thing that I use to take my makeup off is actually a cleanser. Um, it's from the body shop and it's the chamomile balm. It looks like this. It is quite on the pricey side, but it lasts a while um it's like the cleansing butter and as you can see i have used it but like a little goes a long way and yeah it lasts a very long time like i very rarely have to rebuy this um but yeah i absolutely love it it's one of my favorite things to use it just makes your face feel so like fresh and clean and it helps so much to take makeup off. It just melts the makeup off your skin. It's literally like the best, one of the best products I've used ever to take makeup off. And it's that good. It can take permanent marker off of the wall. Tell me about it. So if you have kids, guys, and you wear makeup, and kids like to draw on the wall, this will take your makeup off and the marker off the wall. <laughs> so it's a win-win situation, guys. But yeah. This is one of my favourite products and I will never ever use anything else to take my makeup off. Um, it just literally takes, it literally melts your makeup off your face. Like you can see it melt off your face. It's so good. So that is like the first step. Um, you could, it, Depending on like your preference, you can just, when you massage it into your skin, you can just take it off a bit, um, cotton pads. I like to use a wet, like cloth to take it off um but i mean it's just your preference i just prefer a wet cloth because i don't like the texture of the um cotton pads on my face when they're dry so yeah i just use like a wet cloth so yeah you get this from the body shop i don't know if i already mentioned that but 
yeah and you, there's also like mini travel size ones it's so cool i'm gonna get one for when i go on holiday um yeah so that is the first thing that i use for my skin the next thing that i use is to wash my face um and this is so good like i use this day and night um like morning and night even not day and night um <laughs> and it's the himalayan charcoal purifying clay wash this is also from the body shop i promise this video is not sponsored by them um but yeah this is also from the body shop um this like cleanses and purifies your skin and unclogs uh, pores and it also helps with red redness i've noticed um and yeah i basically just use this day and night this is the packaging and as you can probably see i i'm gonna need to top up soon but a little bit does go a long way so yeah i've had this quite a while um i've had this for months and i use it morning and night so that is how good it is you only need like a tiny drop a little bit goes a long way like i've said and yeah this is so nice for your skin you can notice a difference in it like pretty much straight away like after a few goes and yeah i don't think i'm ever going to use another face wash because this just works so well i mean i've got quite a lot of body shop products but i promise you it's not so sponsored by them so the next thing that i use um i'll use this so hear me out here it's an spf which you're supposed to use every day anyway this is 50 plus um and it's the body shop skin defense multi protection lotion and it helps protect skin daily against indoor and outdoor pollution so i will put this on um i don't know if that's focused um but yeah i put this on after i use the charcoal wash and let it sit for about 10 minutes to soak in my skin before i go in with any moisturizer you're supposed to use this day and night i don't tend to use this at night at the moment i think i'll only use it when i'm not putting anything else on my skin to leave in through the night um but i use this every single morning and again a little bit goes a long way <laughs> you literally just need a dot and it'll yeah it rubs in perfect and i absolutely love this like this is a game changer this is like my, my little secret thing that helps my face so much because i've noticed when you go on holiday and you use sun cream it helps so much with spots so i think this helps so well it helps with redness it helps with um, pollution and yeah it like helps with your pores so much and yeah it's just a must i think an spf in your uh, skincare routine is definitely a must and i will put this on straight after i have washed my face and let it soak in for about 10 minutes before i put any moisturizer on day and night this is supposed to be useful obviously like i say if i put anything on my face to help it before i go to bed i don't know if i'm focused right now I don't think I'm focused. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I use it. Doesn't want to focus. I use it day and night. Every single morning I use it. Nighttime I only use it if I'm not putting anything else on my face. But yeah, it's a must, an SPF. So my morning moisturiser that I use is actually a Tesco's one. Like, you'll be shocked. This is the Kind and Pure for sensitive skin and it's fragrance free which really really helps because fragrances can also irritate skin. Um, it's hydrating daily moisturiser and it's got chamomile and rosehip and pro vitamin B5 in it and gently moisturised and it's dermatological cali, I cannot say that word, tested. I use this every single morning um i let obviously the spf the skin defense um soak in for 10 minutes and then i put this on my face so it's just this one and you literally get it from tesco it's so cheap um but it's working so well for my face i basically just use a little tiny bit again like i say a little bit goes a long way massage it into my face and my neck and we are good to go but i don't use this at night and the reason being is because I've used the SPF or the next thing that I'm going to show you. 
are the next things I'm going to show you. So, the next thing, I use this every night when I have blemishes on my skin. Works so well and you can get it in any single drugstore drug or any grocery store. Literally, it's you can probably even get it off Amazon and yeah, it's just so easy to get. This is a massive tub of it just because it's going to last me forever. Um, this is Sudocreme. Um, yeah. And this, I just put it on my blemishes overnight and hey presto in the morning. They are so much more better. And yeah, I think it's because it's like, I don't know, it just works. Like, I never thought Sudocreme would work. I know it works on like burns and stuff, but yeah, it's helped so much my face. Like, I can't even describe it. So I normally just put it on my blemishes and leave it overnight and then wash it off in the morning and we are good to go. So that is obviously why I don't use SPF when I'm using this. Um, and yeah, so Sue Creme, you can get it anywhere, pretty much. And it's very affordable. Secret weapon, guys. Then if I don't use that or the SPF, I will use the Body Shop Vitamin E Overnight Serum in Oil and yeah it just works wonders it really really hydrates my face when i'm having a bad dry day um and yeah it's just really well you just put a few squirts on rub it in and in the morning your face is so refreshed and very moist very moist i really don't like that word um but yeah this little 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 thing again i've had this for about a year and I'm probably still about this much full. So a little bit goes a long way again, but it helps so much for my skin. So I'm really happy with that. Now, the next thing might be very obvious. It's not a product or anything. It's just simple. Anybody can get this. You can literally get it from the tap. It is water. I have started to drink a lot more water throughout the day and I try and drink the full, how, so I'm not up to date with this, but I always end up drinking it all through the day. It's 2,000 milliliters, um, and yeah, I do have the TikTok water bottle for 99p. It's not 99p anymore, as we found out, because my sister got one and it was dearer. Um, but yeah, I always fill this up every day, and I will drink the whole thing throughout the day. Um, yeah, I don't stick to these things, which I probably should, but I do end up drinking all of it by the end of the day, trust me, ask my sister. I went to hers at like four o'clock in the afternoon once with it full. I'd only just started it and I drank it by the time I got to bed. But water is so good for your skin. I think it just helps so much as it like, it's, water's just good for you and you should have your daily intake. I've realized that from experience. I never used to drink water and now I'm trying to drink the whole of that each day, at least one full thing, full flask of it a day. And I've noticed a very big difference with that. So drink your water, guys. And then the last thing that I actually have for my skin um, is you can get these from Tesco. They're not like your normal tablet. It's actually a herbal tablet. So it's not like you're taking tablets daily. Um, this is a clear complexion tablets. I literally got these from Tesco. They were on offer, like three for two pound. Three for two, sorry, not two pound. Um, and they are quite really affordable as well. And it's basically a traditional herbal medic medicine, medic, medic, no. Basically it's a herbal product. <laughs> Used for the symptom relief of minor skin conditions such as spots, pimples, Blemishes, mild acne and mild eczema and based on traditional use only and you can take these three times a day, um, one, one tablet two or three times a day and don't take more than that basically and obviously there's terms and conditions on the back of this so it's like do not take if you're allergic to blah blah blah, if you have infected spots if you are pregnant or breastfeeding or if you're under 12. Um, but yeah, I don't take these three times a day. I might do if I'm home from work, but nine times out of 10, I will take one in the morning with breakfast and one in the 
evening with my tea and yeah i've been doing this for quite a while now and i've noticed such a difference so i think everything that i'm doing all together is helping out so much with my face and i'm actually really loving my skin at the moment so that's really good and yeah just thought i'd share these little tips with you guys because yeah <laughs> why not um some of these might work for you guys if you also have like other tips on how to get rid of like spot prone skin share them in the comments be down below because it might help out other people and yeah if you guys use any of these products and you think they help your skin let me know also because that'd be absolutely amazing um but yeah i just thought i'd share it because why not might help some of you guys <laughs> but obviously like a lot of the stuff is like what you put into your body so don't expect it to be just use like one of these products and it works also like the fact to say i drink a lot of water now um so i think that helps so yeah i've kind of like experimented and this is kind of what works for me if i if you say so um if you like it works for me so don't come at me if you try any of these and it doesn't work for you because like i say i'm not a professional i'm just show, sharing my experiences and yeah so that is all the things i've been using to help with my skin and the next thing i'm probably going to try and sort out is my hair because i want to grow my hair more now um obviously it's in french black so it does look a lot shorter than what it is but I want my hair back long, so any tips on how to grow my hair long, that would also be amazing. And yeah, let me know in the comments. Um, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new to this channel, please hit my subscribe button below so you don't miss any videos like this one. And also, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up, just so that I know. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye! Using baby wipes to take your skin off is so bad for you. Like, it does take your skin off. If you are new to this... Uh, <laughs>